What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling fantastic today. So for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, and shares. Your support really is just amazing, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy Higher Self has brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. So the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have cancer in your placement, sun, moon, rising, Venus, wherever cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads based off our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going void, of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me. Never force a reading on a situation and everything will be dope, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Gems, feeling lovely. This is great energy all around here, Cancer. So Cancer, the moon is going void of course today. She's gonna be going void of course at about 4.15 in the evening and that's going to be central time. And then she'll be moving from Taurus into Gemini um, tomorrow, uh, the 15th of June at about 8.45 in the evening. So we're looking at about a 28 hour, 30 minute void of course there, Cancer. And with the void of course energy, this is just a great time to really just recharge your batteries, do some maybe some introspective work, some meditation. Just make sure you're just in a cool, calm, collected space there, Cancer. And also during this energy, you may notice that your plans might be subject to unexpected changes and also that people are less likely to um, to commit to plans at this time. So just something to pay attention to there, Cancer. But then we got the moon in Taurus and the moon's got a the moon's is, is exalted in Taurus. We got a real tight relationship with Taurus and Venus and the just 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 all this feminine energy here. But with the moon being in Taurus, this is this is a very um, very sensual energy so you may notice that your, your senses like your five senses are heightened you know that's one of the things that Taurus deals with but you might even be starting to think about if you're dealing with um if you have any sort of like money matters that you need to deal with or maybe even some kind of like property stuff assets things along those lines that you might want to want to get taken care of Taurus is great at managing they managing their money so that's something to think about too cancer and security might just be on your mind in general okay but also because Taurus did you know being a being being a fixed sign and this is a I, I feel like I get why they call Taurus the most stubborn but I, I didn't even be willing to challenge that to say even uh, we'll see but it just fixed energy in general you know Taurus Leo Scorpio and Aquarius you know they have a tendency to be a little on the stubborn side so just something to be aware of their cancer and then you couple that with the waning crescent phase and this is just a good time to really just kind of relax and recuperate and allow yourself to just like recharge maybe do some deep breathing because when you're in incorporating these whatever it is that you start off during these lunar cycles cancer that stuff's a lot you know when we're letting go of things and you know getting in that new routine shifting around schedules a little bit you know it takes a minute to get adjusted and you know once you got that locked in allow yourself some of that take an emperor's day you know, you know, allow yourself, you know, treat yourself, you know, go, go, maybe take a, go appreciate some art or go to, you know, take a bath, whatever that looks like, cancer, just reconnect with yourself. And that's really, that's really fantastic with this Taurus energy as well. Really surround yourself maybe with some incense, you know, maybe a home cooked meal, live it up, cancer. I'm with it. And then uh, last couple of things. These readings that I do, they're not gender specific readings. So apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations. And then the decks that I'm working with, I've included links for them down in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But also down below, I have some links for some other readers that I like che uh, checking out cancer. So go check them out. Let them know that I sent you their way. You know, send, show them some love there, cancer. But let's get to your general energy of the day. <laughs> huh. Speaking of Aquarius, we got the second card of Aquarius here, cancer, which is the labyrinth card. I like this card because this is a card of lost, delayed, complex, contemplate, it's complicated, going inward, spiritual quest, deliberation, long way home, problem to solve, catch 22, and a situation, a situation to sort out. And so Cancer, 
Huh, interesting. The first thing that kind of pops out to me here is the, the, uh, the if you have like a situation that needs to be sorted out, let's say this could be maybe we had like an argument that we may have had with someone or if we just, or just in general, if we have maybe just some sort of like unfinished business or unsettled things that we need to deal with, you know, maybe we're, maybe we have some bills that we've been kind of putting off or maybe there's maybe even some like kind of like home stuff that we've been wanting to take up maybe when because when you think about um Taurus energy you know they can when we think about security we want to make sure our home space is secure too so maybe we've been needing to um and being a cancerian i mean associated with the home i mean come on cancer but this could be something where maybe we've been needing to check in with like uh maybe something's been dripping here as of later maybe it's time to re you know clean out the gutters or you know something along those lines i feel like that there's just just try not to maybe drag our feet on something cancer we've been putting something off for a while let's go ahead and get that taken care of so we can get that off your mind so that you can free up that energy to focus on something else because you know where listen i'm a big you know i won't say a big fan but i've you know we're all prone to procrastination from time to time but you know you know cancer when you knock that thing out it really does Oh, in the long run make you feel a lot better because then it's just like okay now now that energy is even if we're not actively thinking about it there's like a bookmark there there's a small little hook so just something to think about there cancer but on a, even on a deeper scale you know this is a card if we've been feeling kind of lost as of late you know maybe just not sure what direction is, we're going in life or anything along those lines actually one of the readers that included down below they um, had made a point about being lost that I really liked that it's not really Try not to think of it as being lost, but look at it as being on a self-discovery, you know? I feel like when we do get to those places where we're kind of get at that, like that big question mark, like, what do I want to do next? That to me is beautiful because it's just like, that just, I mean, if just my mind just even just filled up with opportunities, or at least the energy can be really exciting, you know, we're sure, you know, it's, there's a little bit of, you know, apprehension and things in there, but for the most part, it's really beautiful, Cancer, because it's just like what you you can literally do whatever you want, you know, and it's just like, how do we, how do we manifest that? You know, what's the, what's the path that you want to take in this maze? Because there's a, you know, there's what, how many billions of us on the planet or so? It's just like, there's so many different ways, you know, to try to get to the source, you know, and to manifest. And I love this card. Let's get some, <laughs> and you know, Cancer, just thinking about it, it's being Aquarius energy. This could be something, you know, some of my favorite conversations are some of the ones that are, are like the ones where we are talking about like those really kind of deep, more complex things. It's just like, you know, where do we think like the energies are going? And not even, it doesn't even have to be even like astrologically or spiritually or anything along those lines. It's just like, you know, what do you want to do next in life? You know, is this where you saw yourself? You know, look at how we've grown up until this point, the accomplishments, the, the, the failures. And you know, like when you really can break that down and get a person too so we're all going through this experience cancer it might translate differently of course but it's it's beautiful all the same and they can really you know getting another perspective on on the journey can really help open up your spiritual quest you know help you go inward and help you grow and inspire you to to do just really wonderful things. And even when you think about Venus, you know, I know she's, uh, we got Taurus energy, but Venus also rules over Libra and Libra's about those one-on-one -on -one relationships, you know, like making those connections. So there's something to think about there, Cancer. But let's, uh, let's get some tarot on this, see how we can work with this energy. All right, Cancer, I dig this. Interesting, okay. So we have, so you have the Three of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Page of Swords in reverse here. And then we have the Three of Cups upright. And so Cancer, I almost feel like with this, because the Three of Swords is a, can be a card, especially when it's in reverse, this could be a card of healing. But with how these energies are kind of popping up here, this I feel, I feel like for some of us, you know, when we're working with these energies and we're going through this healing process, I feel like that, you know, make sure that we are taking time to feel this. Because I feel like with this energy, it's almost saying like, with the Page of Swords being in reverse, that maybe we're... Maybe we didn't care for how 
how I almost feel this like maybe we didn't didn't care for how maybe like a conversation went down in the past. You know, maybe there was like an exchange of yeah, like a exchange of like maybe some words were said or something along those lines. This could have been in like a group setting. I'm not quite sure what that is, Cancer, but it does seem that if for some of you, I feel that if we are in something where we did have a, something in the past that's been wanting to, again, maybe an argument or maybe even just like a misunderstanding, whatever that is. I feel like, you know, how this was saying, the situation to sort out. I feel like let's try to bring this thing to a close here, you know, because this is... Um, the Three of Swords is Saturn and Libra. And so if we, you know, that's when, you know, when I was talking about that, Libra dealing with relationships and we're feeling that we're being kind of restricted in maybe, not even restricted, but if we feel like that there's some kind of tension or something there, let's try to not leave that unresolved if there is something that we can do about it, Cancer. Now, if this seems like this bridge may have been burned, then I feel like that it is, you know, kind of with this Three of Cups, it's like, let's, let's try to make peace with that. You know, this is Mercury and Cancer. And I feel like it's, this is a great that's a great energy for bringing together like the head and the heart and really understanding how you fe felt about that situation and then analyze that you know what did you learn from this situation that if, wh if whether you were at fault or this other person at fault and really cancer i feel like faults don't even matter because it's just like that that's what that energy wasn't you it, the action may have been a low vibration and we and that happens from time to time you know sometimes emotions can get hot maybe logic got a little out of hand you know and things just got a little heated but I do feel that, you know, we can, the best way to work with this is to try to understand that. And I will say, you know, be mindful with the Three of Cups. This can be a card of, you know, like kind of celebrations and things. You know, I just feel like we want to be mindful of, you know, not, not, not uh, trying to ignore the, the feelings by, you know, maybe going out and partying, you know, maybe, uh, maybe uh, to meeting with some people, however that might be looking, Cancer. But I do feel with this, as well yeah there's i feel like yeah the biggest thing is really like maybe resolving this stuff because maybe this could be something too where maybe we yeah we're holding on from like a yeah like a really like a past fight and i feel like it's the energies are trying to get you in this place of healing and get you to this place of resolve and getting to you know think about again yeah that, yeah and just what we kind of learned from this cancer Oh, there's the Empress. What's good, girl? <laughs> Let's see if we got it. Yeah. Okay, so we got the Empress. Do you stand? Okay, Empress is staying. Okay, so we had the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay, Cancer. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Empress in reverse here. And you know. I feel like with this, with the Queen of Pentacles and honestly the Empress popping up here, I'm definitely getting more kind of like if there's something here that we're for some others, you know, if we're if this is not like um like a person that we might be dealing with, I feel like that maybe some of us are maybe kind of healing from maybe like um like a resource hit or something along those lines. Maybe we had some bills that might have came up here as of late, or you know maybe like a surprise type of. Um, Yeah, I don't know, maybe like a surprise charge, maybe something was more than we expected or just something here is feeling like we're we're in this place of we don't we're not feeling as firm as we would like to, you know, maybe there's just a little bit more that we need for something. And if that's the case, you know, then I feel that it's cuz sometimes if we just focus on sometimes we can let the get caught up in the fact that we don't have these things that we can get so caught up in that energy that we don't focus on how we can get out of that thing if that makes sense cancer you know we let the idea of of the oh my goodness i'm insecure you know there's i'm i feel i'm feeling unstable you know the the foundation's feeling a little precarious and now it's just like that our thoughts could be potentially running really fast and getting into that panic state and i feel like we want to be mindful of maybe doing some like, you know, like knee jerk reactions and things along those lines. I feel like the eight of pentacles, because this could be with the eight of pentacles being in reverse, you know, it's like, 
almost like almost like kind of like shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit it's like you go to it's like putting a band-aid on the situation as opposed to really kind of absolving this stuff you know where let's say for example if this was like a bill thing you know not to say that you're doing this cancer but the energies kind of remind me of if we were to like in order to let's say we're behind on bills and we're going to go buy lottery tickets and things to to fix that you know what i mean it's just like mm, could you get some money out of that absolutely but does that seem like the most like the the most practical thing to do we could maybe do some other things on top of that again and there's and again that's nothing no kind of ju cancer you know you're in a safe space and we've all had to do some kind of financial gymnastics from time to time but it is saying that i you know i do feel that it's if we feel like we don't maybe have resources, this could be something to maybe talking with someone, you know, with the three of cups, communicating well again with some people, even with this Aquarius energy, even the five of wands can be a card of like, you know, where, cause maybe this is something where maybe people tried to give us some advice and we didn't care for it. We didn't care for it. And then kind of got ourselves in a quick place. Or this could be maybe something vice versa cancer. Maybe you're dealing with someone who might be, you know, we're trying to help them out, but they seem to kind of, you know, maybe dig themselves in a hole more but and if that's the case cancer i will say you know where again i wouldn't tell you what to do but i do feel that that's something where i feel like a conversation is going to eventually need to be had because that's going to be especially if this is you know directly affecting you as well whether they be maybe someone that we're in a relationship with as far as like maybe like we're dating married something along those lines or if it's just like a friend family member thing you're that's still taking from you energetically so Hmm. Very interesting energy here, Cancer, but just something to think about. I feel that there are a lot of, you know, when we take a moment, kind of breathe for a second, you know, calm the thoughts, then really kind of come at this from a, from just a, a, a cooler head. The answers can come, you know, we may have to, may have to hustle and grind a little bit, but it's going to get you back feeling back in your emperor state. And it will show you too how resourceful you are, Queen of Pentacles. So go ahead and get it. And this is Capricorn energy, uh, Cancer. And you know, we can learn a lot from our opposite signs. Capricorn, they're hustlers. They, 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 they really are hard workers. And so especially if they're, when it comes to building their foundation, if something or if any area is not feeling secure, bet. Capricorn, no matter what they gotta do, is gonna get it done. So, all right, Cancer. Interesting start, but I'm with it. We're going to be stable by the end of this. I'm, I'm more stable than we already are, Cancer. Now, let's see. Um, let's see what might be some challenges when working with this energy. As, as if that really wasn't a big old challenge. Maybe I'm going to just say what you say what energy is coming up, Cancer. Because <laughs> I feel like <laughs> yeah, I might make a change on that. <laughs> oh, interesting. All right, Cancer. Huh. So you got the Lovers, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Wands in reverse here. And, oh, excuse me, upright. And then we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And so, Cancer, Five of Pentacles. If we've been feeling kind of stuck in a situation where maybe, because this can be a card, this could be a card of poverty, this can be a card of lack of security, this can be just kind of like out in the cold and things. But if you see here, in all the five of usually, in all the five of uh, pentacles that I think I, of the decks that I have, there's usually someone here with them. You know, they're not going through this by themselves. And I feel like this is something where we need to maybe communicate this stuff with the lovers here. This is Gemini energy. And I feel that cancer, because maybe this could be something where, because listen, when it comes to asking for help and all of that, you know, I feel that, because listen, I've been there too, when it's like, we know that we need it, but it's just like, it's like the last resort. I feel like we'd rather have everything on fire than to just have everything alleviated. You know what I mean? And I feel like that comes from a sense of pride. You know, we feel that maybe it's something where we can't take care of ourselves and that we know we can't handle something or maybe something along those lines. But here's the thing, Cancer, we're not in this alone. You know, we have a, there's a soul tribe for a reason. And there's going to be some times when when it feels like the energy is too much for us to handle you know what i mean and we need that help aquarius energy to to lift each other up you know because when you're hurting cancer i'm hurting everybody's hurting you know what i mean because you're not bad in, in, in your king of cups energy you're not feeling balanced you're not feeling that but 
there's nothing I feel more rewarding and more fulfilling than being able to help someone in need because we've all been there at some point in time and to be able to bring that state of peace and that state of calm to someone is just a wonderful gift cancer and i feel like that's something where allow yourself to to receive that gift because you know if the shoe was on the other foot you would be there for your person in a heartbeat and so allow someone else to be there for you as well cancer and i know that that's difficult and it sounds like well like a duh but it really can be it's amazing sometimes how that that sense that how that that will is just like no I can I can't I, I know I can empress I've, I've done it before and there's no doubt about a cancer we've all seen the, the empress and that's where we want to get even just like how the empress popped up in reverse here the empress has trouble sometimes because she's learning something this is a this is a new thing she she you know the empress is a culmination of all of the queens and so that's interesting that of all of the queens that could pop out here that the queen of pentacles would pop out because sometimes you know what it, it, there's an area you know as she's growing there's something there just like oh my queen of pentacles is getting a little rusty let's go ahead and pick that back up oh queen of cups is getting a little rusty you know it's just it's all part of the game you know it's it's, it's all part of the growth but it's all is getting to that emperor status abundance happiness security i mean it's it's fantastic so and it's all part of the spiritual quest cancer and of course it's always complicated you know the situation whatever's going down here and that's that's okay we got this cancer i'm with it <laughs> Let's get some Tina. Let's get some advice from Venus because she's laying down. Bring it, Venus. She's laying down a good word. Let's see what's going on. Oh, there we go. There's another queen for you, Cancer. Now we're working. We're getting creative. We're going to have some fun while we're doing it. Oh, they got the Queen of Wands here. Let me see what she got. And then we got the world. Come on, Cancer. World's following you, Cancer. And listen, with the world. Okay, Cancer, we're going to switch back over here. Because Cancer, with the world, if we've been feeling stuck for a while, you know, if we've been feeling, again, if we've been feeling down and out, been feeling maybe a little bit of lack there, you know, not, not, not feeling abundant. I feel like that this is again this is this is reaching out cancer i feel like it's it's taking that that initiative and maybe asking for help because maybe this is something where we're hoping we're trying to maybe do it on like a maybe we're hoping people will pick up on the signs possibly but i feel like with the queen of wands she's the first she rules the first two deacons of aries and the last one of pisces and pisces you know, where I feel like a, like Aquarius is about the collective, Pisces it takes that collective bond and takes it a step further. You know, then it becomes a soul tribe. You know what I mean? And I feel that in order for sometimes for the Queen of Wands to be able to initiate, you know, to be able to take action. Sometimes she needs a little help from the soul tribe every now and again, you know, she gets a little creative with the resources and cancer. Here's the thing. If this is just even on a base level, if this is, if this is just like a money thing, you know, you're going to get them back because I mean, no, who, I don't know about you cancer, but I don't like owing anybody. <laughs> and, and it's not even about that. You know what I mean? Cancer, it really is just like, you, cause I, yeah, cancer, you know you're good for it, and I feel like your people know that you're good for it. And I feel like you know sometimes I think we can really create these really sort of um, speaking of how creative the Queen of Wands is, we can maybe create these sort of scenarios where it's just like, well, what if I can't get them? Well, it's like maybe you won't be able to get them immediately because you just got out the hole there, Cancer. But with a little bit of time, absolutely. You know what I mean, Cancer? And that could be even getting them as far as like you know maybe even just like taking them out to just go eat or something, or maybe even just hanging out. With with them you know or I don't know cancer but what I do know is that this is something again that you don't you don't have to take on the world by yourself you, you, you don't have to I mean you can you can you can try but even then you know 
we're all, we all breathe the same air. When you think about the people who are feeling my lights, I'm not doing anything with the lights. Someone's, someone's helping this happen. You know what I mean, cancer? Someone's pumping the water, someone's built this home. You know, it's just that we all contribute to this, to this lovely world here. So remember that cancer. And then, and then, and learn this about yourself because there is something powerful when we, when we, and when, when we really learn the people that we can, that really do have our back, you know, through thick and through thin, you know what I mean? So that can really even be something that's just heartening in the end. So I like that cancer. I think I'm going to leave that there. So if you, if anything uh, resonated with you, give it a thumbs up and, and, and cancer, well, I'll talk about all this sharing. Share this thing. <laughs> if we know someone who might be, because you know a cancer that may, if, we're, if we know someone who might be going through something, you know, especially just like that could be a really subtle way of just like, you know, you can ask for help. <laughs> I say you can't so sly, but yeah, share. And then um, subscribe and hit that bell button if you haven't already so you can notify when I have these videos each day. And then I'm on this meditation app, maybe something to think about here. You know, maybe, maybe we're connected with the higher selves. Maybe your higher self is trying to give you a signal. Maybe people have been reaching out. Out to you cancer but <laughs> I'm on this meditation app inside timer and I started a group on there called zodiacs raising the vibration and it's just a group to post positive affirmations and encouraging messages and um, as the group grows I definitely want to do where scheduling different uh, meditations you know just like a uh, self-care with the Empress or connecting with higher self with the lovers or uh, something along those lines we're still working out the little the fine details with this thing so come on over cancer and join so we can start getting to all start meditating together if you just want to be on the if you're on the app anyway and just want to happen to catch me on there send a thanks for meditating with me that would actually raise my vibration through the roof so and then lastly cancer check your chart just just check your chart get to know yourself on a deeper level it's really it's just fascinating i was actually thinking about a whole bunch of chart stuff this morning and had like like several epiphanies it was actually really cool but um check your chart i actually have a couple apps down in the description box that i have um, like using for as well and then come on over to my other channel the um alchemist eight i do videos weekly there with different monthly things i just did your um your monthly one not uh, not too long ago. Man, Cancer Empress popped up there too. So abundance is coming for our birthday season, Cancer. Now your yearly one's getting ready to come up here soon. I'm so excited. And all that housekeeping down in the description box below. But let me get your uh, surprise cards here so I can get you out of here. More Aquarius energy. I'm with it. You got the Knight of Swords here. And then while I'm shuffling for your Oracle card with the Knight of Swords. He rules the first two deacons of Aquarius and the last of Capricorns. And so if, again, if there's something that he's learned that that he's feeling lost in or that he's feeling stuck or that maybe he's been, been kind of hurting for something here as of late, he's going to put in the work to resolve this thing, Cancer. Going to look into, do, do mad research because Aquarius energy is very brilliant. They're, they're super smart. They're the innovators of the Zodiac. And... I feel that this really, when we go to tackle this problem head on, it really does show really how, res how, how resourceful you are, Queen of Pentacles. Let's see. Uh, nice. Oh, I love that. Oh, I think one of this site sidebar you got the mug mugwort card and i want to say a site that i like uh getting herbs from i think mugwort is on sale <laughs> but uh, little resources there cancer but you got the mugwort card which is a card of psychic healing and this is uh ruled by the moon and neptune and you know cancer i like that because i feel like when we because I feel like that's what's happening here. You know, when we go on these quests and when, we, when we're learning about ourselves and really getting ourselves out of these situations, that is repairing a side of you that felt damaged, you know, because there was a period of time where we felt with this doubt in things along those lines. But I feel like this energy is saying just like, it's like deep down, and, and be present with this situation, Cancer, and be with how you're feeling in this. Cause, and I know that that can be tough, but I feel like that there's a lot of wisdom that can come from that too, because then we get to this place when we really feel, when we're, especially when we're in like a really tough, maybe in a jam or something along those lines, that anxiety, that stress, all of that, be with it so that you, and, and process it, King of Cups, so that we, how, and then how can we get to this place so that we are never feeling like that again, or at least not to that degree. And when something, or if something comes around again, we're gonna be very ready, but it's gotta be something that you got to, uh, that 
we have to pay attention to cancer because I feel like otherwise the situations are going to keep repeating themselves in different type of forms here until the energies, till the wisdom gets locked in. So, whew. But I do feel that it is saying, you know, with that last thing, just thinking about the moon and Neptune, because, you know, Neptune, Neptune can deal with illusions and fantasies. You know, the moon is our emotions, our subconscious, our intuition. And I feel like cancer, you intuitively know that you can get out of this. You know, a lot of the stuff, the, 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 the pressures and the anxieties, we do, can, we create a lot of that stuff ourselves. And if we look at this stuff on just a base level, it's just like, yeah, that sucks. But if I do this, 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 and that, that at least is going to keep, at least get my head above water until I could do this other thing. You know what I mean, cancer? And then we're building, then we're empressing, so... All right, Cancer. I love that. All this feminine energy, too. I'm digging that with all this stuff here. You, you got this, Cancer. But you stay safe out there. And don't keep yourself in a jam, Cancer. It's okay. You know, pros, think about this stuff. If any of that resonated with you, think about it. Sit with it for a while. No kind of pressure. But, you know, try not to stay in that place too long. Because that that's, a, that's a tough energy to be in all the time. And keep eyes on the moon, you know. Sit down, recuperate, you know, because that's, again, that's a lot of stress. You know, self-care, absolutely. Self-care to the max. Take care of yourself, however that's looking like. You know what, Cancer? You don't got to spend any money on it. This could be going outside in nature. You know, the Empress loves kicking it outside. She rules Taurus. So she, oh yeah, kicking it outside, you know, doing, doing anything along those lines. Give yourself feeling abundant again, you know, and realizing that there are... Where yes, you know, the material things are however this is translating is important, but it's just one piece of a bigger whole, Cancer. And I will catch you on the next one tomorrow. <laughs>